So the project here at Queen Victoria School is about listening to the experiences of young people from a forces family and really understanding about those experiences and the impact of them living at boarding school as well. It's really important that any of the work that we do with young people from forces families is co-produced. We need to really understand their experiences and work with young people so that any services we develop are based on their experiences and they meet their needs. Today the young people were um, taking part in some filming um, and sharing their experiences on that film and we're going to use it as a session with their teachers. It's something they're really passionate about and they feel that um, by doing that, young people in the school will get the right support at the right time. I wanted to get involved because I feel like it's an, not an issue, but a big worldwide thing that affects lots of children that many people don't really know about. I'd just like to help them understand really how it feels and different types of support that other different children need because everyone's experience with being a military child is different and there's not one that's the same as someone else's. And we all thought it was a great, great idea like spreading awareness and um, really like helping us and the teachers out, like staying, like connecting towards each other and just understanding each other, like to create a better environment in the school. I decided to join the group because I had a younger brother who's coming into the school so when I heard the objectives of the group, I thought that would be a good idea to then pave a pathway for younger students. Coming in, like speaking with other people, like experiencing what they've experienced and let them know that I'm here and like, I've experienced what they've experienced as well. And just like getting to know that I'm not the only one that's been through what they've experienced and just, you know, just letting it all out. I think being able to tell our own story and being able to let people know about our own sto story is a good thing. Definitely seeing what we've got planned for the future, what's to come and all the hard work that we've been putting in is paying off. To like spread awareness and help teach the teachers um, about what kind of goes on in our lives and the factors that contribute like in our lives, like at home stuff stuff at school, obviously people having parents on deployment and military families, so it's just going to spread awareness to the teachers and so they can understand what kind of factors are affecting us. I hope for a lot more people to understand what being a military child is really like and I just want lots more people to get involved and people to really see how difficult and how many different experiences we all have. I think hopefully it will make them better understand what it's like to be a foster child. I think it will help like the younger people coming through the school, it will help them to have that teachers that understand it more. People that go to the school have dads or moms in the army, so it's always nice to like turn, like speak to someone who's experienced the same. And like in in the school, everyone's somehow experienced the same, so it's just good to like speak to them and let them know what's happening. They'll understand. The support is something that is really needed, especially through the hard times. Well, that'll be really good because then all these younger students will have a platform to start off, which we might not have had at the start, but now we've got that, they'll thrive much more better and hopefully achieve a lot more in the future. I think the young people here, whilst they live away from their family for the majority of the year, that sense of community that they have and a sense of understanding that all their peers at school have a similar experience to them is, is really, really important to them. And I think we need, we need to think about how we develop services that bring in that peer support elsewhere. And that's been really important for us to understand that the difference that that makes. And as we develop services in other areas that are not in boarding schools, I think we need to bring that knowledge that we've gained from those young people to develop those.